Alright, so we had the bus. Uh, <laughs> the narrow bus with barrels. What's up? So, <laughs> since when do you have 4.4? .4? Actually, we don't quite have it yet. But the code has started appearing in the Git repositories. We've been tracking them all day. And, uh, the 4.4 underscore R1 tag has appeared in almost all of the code by now. So I hope by the time we get back from dinner, we will have the entire code and we will be able to start hacking on it. So did you say parts of it are being released a little bit by little bit? Is that normal? Yes, that's the normal way they do it. I think they just uh, start a process that tags every repository and pushes it out. And that just takes a while because it's such a huge code base. Google doesn't have enough bandwidth or what? Yeah, they do, but uh, they want to do some quality assurance. And, uh, quality assurance, that means like some kind of uh, testing and making sure things are okay and stuff? Yes. Getting like uh, developers to check every line, some kind of like collaboratively check a bunch of things to make sure there's nothing that makes them look bad or what? Yeah, I'm not completely sure what they do, but there's a pretty good chance that uh, they're doing just that. For example, in the Android source tree, there's uh, this repository called Platform Manifest, which yeah. basically tells it where to get everything else. And the uh, Android 4.4 underscore R1 tag hasn't appeared in that one yet. So I'm pretty sure they're pushing it to all the repositories containing actual code and then running another test internally to see whether or not it actually compiles and only then pushing the manifest files uh, to finish off the public 4.4 release. So, what's new? There's a couple of really interesting things. So I think everyone will have read the news announcement by now. So I'm not going to talk about any user interface changes that I probably haven't even seen yet. But looking at the code that's already there, there's some really interesting stuff going on. For example, Dalvik, which is the Java virtual machine that has always uh, been used to run Java code on Android is starting to be replaced by a new thing called ART, which stands for Android Runtime. It's essentially a complete rewrite of Dalvik. This will result in stuff running much faster and making better use of multi-core CPUs because it's actually multi-threaded uh, while Dalvik was not. And ART is not enabled by default in the new 4.4 uh, release, but it's intended to replace Dalvik in upcoming releases. And if you enter developer mode uh, by tapping the release identifier a couple of times, you can actually get a switch on 4.4, which will allow you to select what virtual machine is being used. And then you can select between Dalvik, which is the old one that has always been used, an art, which is the, uh, the new one, and then even art with an LLVM-based backend, which might be even faster, so there's still some experimentation going on there. Another interesting low-level change that announcements don't talk about very much is the addition of better OpenCL support. So some more work can be offloaded to the GPU that is present in devices. That should again give some performance benefits and possibly also boost to battery life because the CPU can enter sleep mode earlier. So uh, ART is much better than Dalvik? How do you know? You, it's well, the first time you see it? It's the first time I see it and obviously I cannot really say it's the best thing that has been released so far but Looking at the code a bit and also seeing how some Google engineers were talking about it, it's pretty good. And Where did they talk about it? Some of them were attending the Lenaro Connect conference and we had a couple of very good sessions about getting our code merged about some future projects. And so uh, what's, what's, uh, what else can you say? Like 4.4 uh, .4 has a bunch of features but is it like huge compared to 4.3? Is it lots of new stuff or...? It looks like it. So unfortunately I haven't finished downloading it and compiling a firmware based on it so far and I don't actually have a Nexus 5 so I didn't have any chance to get some hands-on experience. 
but the code looks good and for, uh, what I heard about it from people actually working on it inside Google is also really interesting. How do you think uh, there, there's been leak yesterday about it supporting low-end phones? How would that work? That might be related to the, uh, starting to replace uh, Dalvik without because uh, Dalvik also <laughs> used to have some overhead and there's probably also some other optimizations going on. For example, I know a lot of work has gone on in Bionic, which is one of the lowest level libraries of Android. And there's obviously still a lot of code to explore. I still haven't had a chance to look at all of the code. Okay, so uh, after dinner you'll check it out, right? Definitely. My task for the rest of the day is finish downloading the entire 4.4 code, get a couple of builds started, uh, reapply the narrow based patches on top of it, make sure it works with our tool chains, and just make sure we can get released ba releases based on 4.4 going out as soon as possible. Tomorrow morning? Would be nice, but chances are the connectivity in the hotel is just too bad to download it all. <laughs> How big do you think it is? The whole thing? completely sure I think uh, for 4.3 I needed about 4 gigabytes of data uh, downloaded and 4.4 is also going to be big but uh, since I already have a checkout of the 4.3 repositories it's just pulling in new is it, patches. Is it on the Pirate Bay? <laughs> we have to see. <laughs> I think it's not there yet. <laughs> okay.